Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use SUMIFS function in Excel. This is a mathematical function that can be used to add values when you have one or more than one criteria and when those criteria are met then their corresponding values are added. Let me show you how this works. So I go to this cell and I type sum ifs. You can see there are two formulas sum if and sum ifs. Sum if is used when uh, there is only one single criteria but for multiple criteria we use sum ifs. You can see it takes a number of arguments. The first one is the sum range, the values that you want to add. The second one is the criteria range 1 which is a range which has all the criteria and the third one is the criteria 1. This, this is where you specify your required criteria and if you have more than one criteria then you can go on and it would in, uh, introduce more arguments which would be criteria range 2, criteria 2, criteria range 3, criteria 3 and so on and so forth. Now let me show you an example by selecting B2 to B5 as the sum range. So these are the values that would be added. For criteria I could have either the same range or I could have some other range and I would make my criteria based on the selected criteria range. So in this case let me select the same range for which is the sum range. My criteria range is also the same. Now as third argument I would have to specify a criteria and in this case it is greater than 100. So I'm saying that in your criteria range you look for numbers that are greater than 100. Remember whenever you're using an operator, a mathematical operator such as greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, you should always use them within double quotes. If you do not use them within double quotes, the formula would not give you the right answer. So this is my first criteria and I'll show you if I have another criteria, how to use it. So I again select the same range as criteria range 2 and this time my criteria is less than 500. I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter and this gives me 600. Note that this formula would add those values that meets all the given criteria. So in this case I have two criteria only and only when both these criteria are met it adds those values. So what happens is it goes to this range it checks at 100 this is not greater than 100 this is equal to 100 but it's not greater than 100 so that criteria is not met this is left out it checks for 200 this meets the criteria greater than 100 less than 500 400 meets the criteria but 700 does not because 700 is greater than 500 so these two values are added. Now this was an example where I used numeric values as criteria. You can also use text values as criteria and here I would also show you a very smart use of wildcard characters. So again the sum range is, is B2 to B5 and criteria range is A2 to A5 which has these names. Now in criteria I would use wildcard character. There are two prominent wildcard characters which is A strix and uh, question mark and a strict is to specify any number of characters and question mark represents one uh, character. So in this case let me use a strict and I type a and a strict again. So this is my criteria. What this specifies is that any word which has alphabet a in it would satisfy this criteria because it says that there should be alphabet A and there could be any number of characters before A which is denoted by this asterisk and there could be any number of characters after A which is denoted by the second asterisk. So now my first criteria is built. For second criteria again select this range and my second criteria is J asterisk. What this means is that any word that starts with J would meet this criteria and it could have any number of characters after J because I've given a asterisk here. So now when I hit control enter this gives me 200. Now let's see how it worked. This is my sum range and this is the criteria range. Within criteria range it checked for the first condition which is that the word should contain A because there is asterisk A asterisk. 
Tom does not have A in it, Jane has an A in it, Arjun has an A in it and Tom has no A in it. So these two meet my first criteria. Let's check for the second criteria which is that the word should start with J. Arjun does not start with J. Only Jane is the word that meets both the criteria. So the formula goes to its sum range and fetches that corresponding value which is 200. If I change this to Jane as well, then you can see this changes to 600 because these two meet the criteria and hence its corresponding value in some range are added. Let me press Ctrl Z to go back to the original thing. All right. Now let me show you another example of sum ifs. In sum range, I again choose these values and in criteria range, I choose these names. And my criteria is it should not be equal to Tom these two operators when used in such a manner indicates not equal to and I would use another numeric criteria with it so my criteria range 2 is this range which is B2 to B5 and my numeric criteria is greater than 200 so you can see it is not necessary that you have uh, the same range in all the criteria you can have different ranges and build different criteria now when I hit control enter this gives me 400. Let's see why it gives me 400. It goes back here and first checks for the first condition which is not equal to Tom. A2 does not meet the criteria, A3, A4 meet the criteria and A5 does not meet the criteria. So these two meet the criteria. The second condition is it should greater than it should be greater than 200 and there's some range is this the first value does not meet the criteria second does not meet it because it is equal to 200 not greater than third meets the criteria and fourth does not so in this case these two meet the criteria and in this case this meets the criteria but for some ifs to work all the conditions should be met so only 400 is returned because this is the only number which meets this is the only number in some range that meets all the criteria so this is how some ifs function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.